Hello, this video is for Virgo. <clears throat> Virgo, this is your October 2012. All right, so I'm going to put your phone down for a second so that I can show you the cards that I pulled for you. The first card that came up for Virgos is trust. Trust is one of the biggest issues where Virgos are concerned. Virgos do not take the word trust lightly. Virgos are always trying to imply or apply trust into everything that they do. Virgos, it's been some time since you have been able to either trust your partner or it's been some time since your partner's been able to trust you. I definitely feel like a lot of Virgos are definitely dealing with being either flooded out over, I want to say over uh, compensating, or some of you have been drowning within your emotions, within your fears, within your situation. Some Virgos are not sure of what direction they should go. Some Virgos also feel like things are coming to a close on a lot of situations. A lot of you Virgos are also doubting either yourself, doubting a decision, doubting someone else's words, not believing in someone. For some of you Virgos, the um, obstacles that you have faced in the past, the ricochet effect of them is still outpouring or overpouring on your life today. There have been a lot of situations that you've overcome, you've moved forward on, you've gotten past or gotten through, but at the same time, there is still residue of that pain and that heartache that you once suffered. Some of you do not know how to pick up the pieces and begin to putting your life back together. Some of you Virgos are definitely being destructive in a lot of ways, self-destruction self-sabotage. Some of you do not feel down deep inside that you deserve to be happy. Some of you are continuing to punish yourself in so many ways. In a lot of ways as well, Virgo, you're not allowing yourself to get into another relationship or to bond with someone because you are afraid of the risk that may take what you'll have to sacrifice in order to move forward with them. A lot of you are scared to give something or someone a try. There has been a lot of doubt, a lot of deception, a lot of manipulation, but it is time now to take back your energy and your power. It's very much the time for you to decide that you want to be happy and that it's okay to let something go. Some of you definitely have to get to the point where you believe that you don't need to stop. So the next card that comes up for you is don't stop. Don't stop believing in your higher power. Don't stop believing in yourself, on what your accomplishments can be. Don't stop believing that you can get to your goal, your destination, get to where you are designed to be. Become the person <clears throat> that you've always desired to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. These allergies are just really kicking. A lot of you Virgos have gone through the moments of feeling helpless and hopeless. The reason this card shows up is ever since you were a child, you felt different or you felt like you didn't fit in. You felt like you never knew which stairway to climb. You never knew which direction you should go. Some of you felt like you were very close to walking off of a cliff. Some of you may have felt that things were never in your favor. But the truth is the light has always been there in front of you. All you have to do is reach out to it. So the next card <clears throat> that I have for you is coming in as the Eight of Wands. With the Eight of Wands, this is definitely telling me there is going to be uh, some kind of movement, fast energy coming. Um, nothing really smooth is here for you to just take. You must work for what it is that you want. There is going to be quick changes as well. 
Also, there may be communication that comes in and out or goes back and forth between you and a partner. For some of you, being that you have the Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely where your options are complete or your choices have been limited or this is having a partner who still has many options in front of them and is unable to make a decision as of yet. As you can see with the Two of Wands, your partner is trying to make a decision or choice. They are looking something over from above or from away, meaning they may be separate from you in a relationship right now. They may be distant. They may be not having any communication with you at this time. But it doesn't mean that they've forgotten you. You see the roses? You see the roses? They haven't forgotten you. Not at all. You are included in their thoughts. You are included in what they are pondering about. They are definitely wondering about the argument, the fight, the separation, the battle between the two of you. They're trying to figure out what exactly stirred it up, what exactly created this distance, what exactly did they do, or what exactly did you do to have this separation right now. Maybe it's exactly what you didn't do. Did you set your boundaries? Did you put a limit? Did you continue to allow someone to treat you in a toxic way? Did you continue to allow somebody to take advantage of being with you? You know, you became a blessing in their life so quickly. And then things became too easy. You uncomplicated so many situations for them. You fixed things so much so that they didn't have to worry about doubts. You allowed them to sit like the queen on the throne the same way that you did. With the queen of swords, this person is very confident, feeling like they're above the rest, feeling like they are definitely happy, maybe sitting up on a cloud, meaning feeling better than ever. Some of you may have gotten back with a partner or have now started to communicate with that partner. Maybe this is where you're getting that higher than high feeling. Some of you may be putting yourselves in a situation where you're drinking or you're drugging or you're doing something to numb the pain. Some of you may be trying to see something from a different point of view. Some of you also may be wanting to dedicate or dictate messages, dictate um, rules, dictate orders that somebody should be following. This is not going to work out for you. Although, I do feel like you are being guided by the angels, you see? You're being guided by the angels. They're definitely trying to come out from under you to show you that you can rise above. Angels are holding you up now. That's how you're sitting in this chair. That's how you're rising above a situation or a problem or a dilemma that you didn't think you could get away from. You didn't think you could get out of. Please know, Virgo, somebody is going to come in to offer you their cup. Somebody is wanting to say to you, I'm giving you my everything. I want to give you all of me. I don't want to play these games anymore. This also could be you telling your partner, you don't want to play these games anymore. It is now getting into October. It is getting closer to 2020. This person wants to be able to have a relationship, a commitment. They want an ongoing truth between the two of you. They want communication lines to be open. They want you to understand their feelings as well as they want to learn about yours. It is going to be your decision, Virgo, on whether or not you give somebody the opportunity. You are going to consider very closely on whether or not you share what you have left. You're wanting to give your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole body, your whole spirit to someone. You've been waiting for this day to be able to share yourself and share your life with someone. Question is, will they receive it? Or if this is them wanting to share all of this beautiful life with you, will you accept it? Will you honor it? Will you respect it? Will you appreciate it? Will they appreciate it? It's coming to a point where 
The games are now over. The bullshit is finished. The lies, the the false expectations, or the too high of expectations are going to lead you to disappointment. Do not judge anyone. And rather than that, look in the mirror and reflect on what you need to work on for yourself. Because then you will find your happiness there. Virgos, you have been alone too long. It is time for either someone new to come in, and that is going to come through the month of October. It is also time for celebrations, parties, and happiness. It is also time for Virgos to stand up and take your power back. It is going to be quite an extensive month of October for you. It is going to be where you're going to be able to make decisions on what you want to make you truly happy. It is no longer in anybody else's hands but yours. You can create this whole month of October, November, December, and even into 2020 in exactly the same way that you wanted it to be months back. That didn't work out too well because we tend to get out of our own lane and try to control something that is not ours to control. The only person, Virgos, that we can control is ourselves. So Virgos, hold tight. Stay strong. October's got doors opening left and right for you. Question is, for some of you Virgos, you may choose to walk through this door and enter into a whole new lifestyle. For some of you, you may not open that door in fear of losing what you had in the past. Question is, what was it exactly that you had? With that being said, this is going to be your October 2019. I hope this helps Virgos to finally stand up and get the courage and strength that they need to move forward. Okay, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.